everybody. How are you doing this fine Thursday? I hope everybody is good. Hi, Phyllis. How are you? I hope you're good. I hope everything's good. Um, We had some stormy weather this morning, but now it's beautiful. It's windy. It's windy as all heck, but it's probably 75 degrees. It's really nice. Um, and this week I had my lawn guy come. Hi, Pam. Um, my lawn guy came and trimmed all of my hedges and bushes and there was so much. He called me. <laughs> He's Hispanic and he, English was not his first language. He's this, he's so sweet. He says, he says, Senora, there's a lot of trash. And I'm like, yeah, they'll come get it. And they did. So it's gone now. So you can actually see my house and my sidewalk. I'm sure that the people who walk are happy that they came and got the trash. There's Senora, there's a lot of trash. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yay, 82. Yeah, Debbie's right across, right down the street in Columbus. So I don't know if it's that warm here. It might be. But anyway, so first, can I show you? I'm going to give you a sneak, sneak, sneak peek of one of the stamp sets that is going to be in the new catalog. Are you ready? Here's the card I made. It's just a super simple card. Um, I used two of the stamps out of there. It says just for you. And then this one right here, it says handcrafted from the heart. Yeah, I mean, it's a super simple card. But here is the stamp set. It's called limited edition. And it has all of these that you can put on the back of your card, you know, made with love just for you. Hand stamped limited edition. I like that one. One of a kind creation. So they need one that says, if you knew how much time I um, took making this card, you'd never throw it away. <laughs> yeah, it's windy here too, Pam. Really windy. Um. Anyway, so th that's one of our brand spanking new stamp sets that's coming up. You got a different one, Phyllis? Um. Yeah, so there you go. Just a super simple card that I made just to show it off a little bit. And so we have that to look forward to. And so today we are just going, we are going to make a super simple card. We are going to make a peaceful poppies card. Um, it, this is a stamp set that I absolutely love. And, oh, by the way, it is not retiring. So I get to play with it some more. Yay. Super happy about that. And I, you know, I don't, some of the stamp sets I just don't use enough. So we're just going to use it today. So if you can see up here at the top and down here at the bottom, I use the scoreboard to make these little lines in here. Now you can do it with your trimmer, but it's probably easier with the scoreboard. But um, I'll show you how I did this and then we'll make it a little bit, um, we'll make it a little bit different just in case. Just in case you don't like all that white space. Because some people don't like all that white space. Some days I do. Some days I don't. So we can make it just a little bit, uh, just a little bit different. But I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? So first, we start with a piece of basic white cardstock that is five and a quarter by four, okay? And we are going to take some tape. Post-it note tape. Um, uh, uh, this is called mint tape. But it's like post-it note tape. And you can get post-it note tape on uh, Amazon. You can get the mint tape from a competitor that I won't mention. Maybe I should. In our upcoming catalog. In our upcoming catalog that I cannot show you. I can show you the cover of it. You want to see the cover of it? Here's the cover of it. It's so pretty. So in this catalog, there is masking paper, which we'll do this so we can not use competitor products. So we can use masking paper for this. So it'll be, it'll, what, when do we get to start ordering from this whole catalog? What's the date? 
May 3rd. May 3rd. I can order masking paper if it's in stock. I hope it is. Okay, so Memento Black. We're just going to stamp these poppies and we're going to stamp it over this tape. So that way it'll be a clean line. At least I think I'm going to stamp over the tape. I'm going to attempt to stamp over the tape. I think I did okay. And we're going to stamp it twice. It doesn't matter if it's the same height as the other one. doesn't matter. Goes off the edge, of course. That's okay. Okay, so now you have to peel the tape off. And as much as I want to just rip it off, I have to go slowly because I don't want to rip my cardstock because then I would have to start all over again and nobody wants to do that. Okay. So we're going to use Stampin' Right markers. Stampin' Right markers. Now, what colors do I have? Flirty Flamingo. Real Red. Melon Mambo. They're all upside down. Poppy Parade. And Polished Pink. Okay. Let's talk about Stampin' Right markers for just a moment. Just a moment. So the same ink that is in here it's a different color of course but it's the same ink that's on the stamp pads so this is water-based ink that's in here you can refill these if it runs out of ink on the there's two ends there's the the end that you're going to write with if you want to write or have a very thin line and then there is the brush end that will give you a thick line or more to color with, okay? So, on this end, the brush end, if you have a pair of tweezers or a pair of hemostats, which I do somewhere, there they are, they're hiding, you can, it's not hard, pinch this and pull it out. It comes right out. You're not going to hurt anything. At least if I can grab a hold of it. It comes right out. See? Now, you just drip. Get your ink um, refill. And drip a couple drips of ink. Just a couple. It doesn't hold much ink. So, like, two drops max. And it's full. And then you slide this guy back in there. And you're done. That's, it's that simple. It's really that simple. Okay? So, there we go. And on your, on your marker itself, it shows you that this is the uh, brush end. There's a picture and then there's a thick line. And then there's a thin line over here. And then it says it's 0.5 millimeters that, on this end. Okay? So, I don't know if there's more to know about a Stampin' Write marker other than the flicking technique. And I hope you guys know how to do that because it is one of my favorites. Do you know how to do that? I need to move my card out of the way, but I shall show you. So, if you take this end, the brush end, and you put it... I'm going to try to show you, and I hope that I hope that this makes sense. You put the tip right in here. Just like that. And then you move your marker down towards your paper. Are you ready? And do you see what happens? It clicks. Kind of sounds like you're snapping your fingers. And you get splatter. Now, I use that a lot. But I don't usually explain how to do it. So, there's your explanation. Okay. So now we're just going to color. And so these are kind of like a watercolor flower. So I'm not going to be totally, I got to get all in all of the lines. I'm just going to add some color. Probably because I'm lazy. Is that it? I don't know. It might be. I mean, I got 
I get most of it. But it's not, um, it's not anything, I'm not trying to be exact and fill in absolutely all of the, um, flower part. Okay, so now what color do I have? This is, uh, Melon Mambo. Melon Mambo. I'm excited. Okay, so as a demonstrator, we get to pre-order. Um, and if you're not a demonstrator and would like to be a demonstrator, you don't ever have to demonstrate anything, but you do still get all the perks. And one of the perks, I think, one of the big perks is we get to order products early. So tomorrow, uh, me and all of my demonstrator friends get to order some of the new products. And I'm super excited that we get to order some of the, um, the new in colors. Those are the new colors that are replacing. Which ones are they replacing? Misty Moonlight is going away. Cinnamon Cider is going away. Bumblebee is going away. Magenta Madness is going away. And there's another one that I can't remember right now. This is Polished Pink. This is one of the end colors that's not going away because it's only been around for one year. We get to keep our end colors for two years. So I like, I like Magenta Madness. I like Polished Pink. Bright pinky colors, they're my colors. I love them. Flirty Flamingo is a favorite and we're going to use it right now. So here comes Flirty Flamingo. Flirty Flamingo, which doesn't look too flirty, actually. It's fine. Sometimes I just think it comes out darker than, than I have in my head, than I'm imagining. Okay, so here's our poppies, field of poppies. I think most poppies are probably poppy parade colored, but... I thought that was just a little too boring. If you want to make them all one color, more power to you. Hi, Jeannie. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp our now I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for the sentiment just in case. Okay, so here's our scoreboard. Let me move this paper out of the way. So here is our scoreboard. I am going to put it this put my paper this way, this direction. Oh look, I got a smudge. I'll have to put a I'll have to put a rhinestone over that. Um I'm going to take the um scoring tool and I'm just gonna go every eighth of an inch. So if you have the scoring tool and you've used the scoring tool, you know that there is um there's a fine line. You have to you have to learn the pressure. Because sometimes there's too much pressure and you put a hole in your paper. Sometimes there's not enough pressure and your scoring tool skips out of the line, right? So there's a groove right here and you want to get it in there, get it in the groove, pull it down and stay in the groove. That's the, that's the idea of it. So, um... I'm going to start here and go every eighth of an inch and I'm going to go on the first one. I'm going to go all the way down, all the way down to the other side on the next one over. Just go over one eighth of an inch and I'm going to start and go down about three quarters of the way, maybe further. It's a guess and it's okay. However you do it. And then I'm going to go about halfway and then I'm going to go about a quarter of the way. And that's, ah, uh, that's my idea. There you go. See that? I don't, can you see it? I think you can see, see this one goes to there, that one goes to there, that one goes to there, and that one goes all the way across. Oh yeah, you can see that in the camera good. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it. And do the same thing again. Every eighth of an inch. All the way down. Now I'm going to go most of the way down. 
then halfway down, and then just a little bit of the way down. Hi, Connie. So there you go. That's, I mean, that's all there is to doing that is just using the scoreboard and the um, scoring tool. That's all it is. That's, that's all you got to do to that. Now, if you wanted to, we could do other things to it. Like, we could go on this edge and go down, and this edge and go down. Now, you'll notice, I don't score over here. It's hard. <laughs> it's just hard. I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying it's hard. So here, I'm just going every eighth of an inch. Let's see what this looks like when I'm done. Just doing two lines on each side. I might want more. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Let's do one more. One, two, three. I'm playing with the scoreboard. One, two. Don't often hear that, I don't think. One, two, three. And then one more. And then we'll be able to see it just a little bit better. How about that? So it just gives you a little bit of interest without any ink at all. You don't even have to do anything. How about that? Okay, Christy, you can rewatch it. So there you go. You can do that. You can do anything. Anything you want. So there's a couple ideas for you. Okay, so now let's stamp a sentiment on here. My other one said thank you. How about a happy birthday? How about a happy birthday? I mean, how many thank you cards do I need? Mm -hmm. Who knows? So again, with the memento. Hey, Carol, I'm glad you like it. So we're going to stamp happy birthday up here. Ooh, that came out nice and dark. And then I'm going to add this to um, my card, but... So on this one, I just added it to the white, the basic white. Lots of white space on this card. So let's see what it looks like with black. Oh, look, I need the scoreboard again. I didn't, I didn't score my card base. So let's get the scoreboard out again and score right down the middle of our card at four and a quarter. And warm Brisbane, Australia. Are you, is it warm? It's warm here. It's like 80 something degrees, they told me. Okay, so here if we put a black board around it, look at that one. Look at how pretty that is. Now wait, we're not done. Let's look and see what we got here. I have a poppy parade border. Let's try that. I'll let you guys vote. There's a poppy parade border. Ooh, that's pretty. How about that? Poppy parade. Black. Wait. I have more. I have more choices. Just so you can see. I have a flirty flamingo card base. How about that? That's completely different. For all of you who don't like that much white. Snowing? No. Uh, first of all, I live in Georgia because <gasps> I think I like this. What do you guys think about that? Now, it's completely, it's the same card, but completely different. Look at that. What do you think? Tell me what, tell me your, tell me your thoughts. What are we thinking? I'm going to score this just in case you guys decide to use the pink. Um, so I live in Georgia for a reason. I don't know how much you guys know about me. I am um, retired Air Force. I was an aircraft mechanic for 20 years in the Air Force. So as an aircraft mechanic, all of your time is spent outside unless the airplane's inside a hangar and then it's still not warm. Okay, so I lived in North Dakota for four years and it's cold and I don't like it. So, um, I, 
moved to Georgia. <laughs> I I I asked the Air Force if I could please, because I had been cold long enough, if I could move to Georgia. And they said, okay. So here I am in Georgia, and I love it here. And so I think this is where I'll stay. I mean, I've been here 20 years already. So, okay, I think I'm going to do it like this. Okay, that's the one we're going to go with is the uh, flirty flamingo and the black. Unless I decide to do it this way. Do you guys care? Do you have an opinion? Nobody has an opinion. I mean, you guys are crazy because most people want to share their opinion all the time. You definitely miss the... So, Peggy, you're in England, right? Am I right? Because I'm telling you what, the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in England. I swear to you, I was so cold the whole time. I never warmed up. How about that one? Poppy Parade? Okay, we're going to do Poppy Parade in white. We're just going to leave it like that. Yes. I, um, I... I, I swear, I hated every minute of it. Not the place. I like the place. I hate to be cold. That's why Patty Hunsinker's watching I Don't Live in... Where do you live? You live in uh, Pennsylvania. Am I correct, Patty? Don't like it there either. It, it just gets too cold. I like to go for a visit in the summer. And then I'm, I'm out of there. I like snow from a distance. My family lives in New Mexico where there is snow on the mountains and you can see it and it's really pretty. Oh, you know, you have to love it because you have to love it. Okay, so I'm using the foam adhesive sheets because I want to pop this up, but I don't want to mess with all of the dimensionals. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Peggy, the whole time I was there, never got warm. Inside, outside, never got warm. I I think I was there for like 90 days one summer. And I was like, I you guys, you people have to send me home. I'm, I've been cold for 90 days and I'm ready to just go home and be warm. I'm ready to go home to North Dakota and be warm. Because at least in the summer, it was warm. The mosquito, the mosquitoes in North Dakota would pick you up and carry you away. But it was warm for, you know, about a month or so. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. Okay, so let's see if we can line this up. I've had no, there's no give on here now that I put all those sticky things on the back. So like when I use this glue, you know, you got a little bit of grace. This is the grace glue. So you have a moment of grace. When you put it down, it will move. Not so with the adhesive sheets. Okay, so there you go. There's that. Now, I'm going to put some basic rhinestones on here. Just, just... One of them is going to go right over my boo-boo. Do you see my boo-boo? Can you see it? I don't think that's when I flicked. <laughs> it might, but there, because it's gone. I love embellishments. I mean, I put embellishments on all my cards anyway. But uh, you can, you can cover up your boo-boos. And make it look just like you meant to do that. I think I'm going to put five. Do you know the rule? Is it a written rule? I don't know. But I think you're supposed to use an odd number of embellishments, an odd number of things, an odd number of, you know, whatever. Threes and fives. That It's supposed to look better. So there you go. There's my card. This is the one we just made with our um, scoreboard marks on there. And then here is the one that I made um, before you guys showed up. <laughs> so there you go. There's my two cards. And you could make this as different as you wanted to. 
and however many different ways you wanted, however many different combinations. So let me just remind you, we used the painted poppies, which, oh, by the way, are not going away. Yay. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. So, um, scoreboard, um, if you need more tips about the scoreboard, let me know. I don't know. I'll come up with something. But uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me a little bit today. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next week.